Rumor had it that hundreds of years ago, deep in an ancient mysterious cave in the eastern forest, inhabited the fearsome descendants of the serpent growth. If any of the hawks dare to cross this border, they will pay for that. Therefore, everyone should pay careful attention when looking for herbs in this border area. Clear? Sure! sure. And this was David, a talented warrior of the hawk tribe, with bright eyes and strong flexible wings. He always loved and cared for everyone, especially his kind sister Anna. When he knew the Pearl of Life representing the life of the Hawks, as well as Anna didn't have good health from a young age, he did not hesitate to find herbs for her sister in the border areas. One day, while going through the storm, because of her exhausted body, Anna's wings were stuck in the bushes near the eastern forest. David hurriedly flew back to see the situation. However, when David had just rescued Anna, a bolt of lightning struck the cliff, causing the rock hit to swing and made him fall into the forest. Oh no! David! In the moment David was falling, suddenly the figure of a giant snake passed by him and disappeared. However, because it was raining harder and harder, Anna's health was not stable. Plus, David had fallen into the territory of the snake tribe. Anna was sad and determined to return to find help from her teammates. As for David, after he woke up, he found himself in a strange cave and his body felt heavy from the wounds on his body. While David was about to leave, suddenly a girl with a mysterious scent appeared. Anxious to see his wound. You shouldn't move much. Your wound will get worse. Let me help you. Then the girl gently took out the necklace and put a few drops of sparkling water on David's body, helping the wound on his body gradually heal. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. But who are you? Why are you helping me and what is this water? Well, I'm Sapphire. A bird without wings, with an ugly face. I don't want to reveal it to anyone, so since I was born, I have lived alone in a small cave in this cliff. Besides, I often see you and your teammates flying over here. Today, while I was looking for food, I saw you injured, so I came to help. And this is a magic remedy that I made from precious herbs near this area, capable of helping to heal wounds quickly, so I use it to help you get well soon. Seeing that Sapphire did not want to reveal more, David just nodded, kept the rest of the questions in his heart, and silently observed her day by day. <laughs> Gradually, David realized that even though Sapphire usually didn't talk or express her feelings, Every time she came, she took care of him wholeheartedly. Moreover, he enjoyed spending time with her and realized that she had feelings for him too. After the conversation and healing the wound, Sapphire also gave him a strange fang necklace as a gift. However, David discovered that Sapphire was getting weaker and weaker each time she helped him heal. Sapphire, huh? are you okay? David! Huh? It's my sister and comrades. They must have found me here. Oh no! I can't stay here much longer. I need to leave right now. Sapphire, I see. You don't have to panic. Now, I'll distract them. Uh, please, find a safe place to leave. Huh? Sapphire was surprised to hear David say that, but she nodded and left. As soon as she went out to the back door of the cave, Anna and everyone were already standing there. Sapphire panicked, took a step back, and David rushed out to protect her. David, thank God you're safe and healthy. But who is this? This is Sapphire, huh? who saved my life. But right now, she has an urgent need to leave here. So everyone, please open the way huh? for her to go. With Anna's sharp eyes, she sensed that there was something wrong with Sapphire. Anna spread her wings and flew towards Sapphire, causing her hat to fall off and revealing the face of the serpent race. This made Anna and the others very surprised and planned to attack Sapphire because she thought Sapphire had bad intentions with David. 
However, David quickly stopped and created an opportunity for Sapphire to leave. Huh? David? You helped her escape? Maybe you are already mesmerized by her. No, she really took care of me all this time. No more excuses! Hurry and bring David home! Hmm. No, let me out! And I will definitely find Sapphire to get that elixir! David was brought back home, but he was still restless and blamed himself for not protecting Sapphire's identity. David had long known she was a serpent through her scent, gestures and actions when she took care of him. He was very worried about whether Sapphire was safe now, when suddenly the fang lit up, releasing a guiding scent that only he could see to lead him to Sapphire's place. Huh? David sneaked out of the nest, looking for Sapphire without noticing that a dark shadow was watching his every move. David followed the scent and found a snake cave in the eastern woods. However, just as he entered, a serpent guardian appeared and stopped him. Oh, people of the Hawks, why did you appear here and want to enter our holy realm? I followed the scent from Sapphire's Fang and came to this place. Now, I would love to see her and examine her wound. It turns out that the person that Princess Sapphire took care of and gave the precious Fang was you. Prove that you are very important to her. However, if you wish to meet the princess, you must give me your wings as a means of communicating with the gods here. I have to trade these wings? But for an elite hawk like me, wings are essential for hunting. Really? Then the princess mistakenly believed. Hmm. However, remembering what Sapphire sacrificed for me, I can't be petty to let her suffer alone at this time. Therefore, I accept to sacrifice these wings. The serpent huh? was startled by David's answer, hmm. smiled, turned his wings huh? towards him, and disappeared, huh? leaving David to continue his journey. Near the end of the path, David came to a huge gate with the face of a large snake looking up at him. Alright, I will open this gate for you, on condition that you exchange your eyes for me. I understand, although these eyes are important to the hawk like me, and help me see Sapphire better. But, if only because of a pair of eyes that I can't see Sapphire again, I'm not willing. Therefore, I am willing to sacrifice these eyes. Very well. Congratulations for completing the challenges. Please come in. Although David did not huh? understand what the door was saying, he still hurriedly followed the scent from the fan to find Sapphire behind the gate. Sapphire saw David and she was very touched. She did not expect David to be willing to sacrifice so many things for her. However, Suddenly, a strong huh? wind blew between them and caught her. Finally, Princess Sapphire and the Elixir, the cure all diseases huh? are in my hands. Anna, why are you here? Because I want to have Sapphire's Elixir, the symbol of the ancient serpent descendants, which has the effect of reversing death. Unexpectedly, you got acquainted with Princess Sapphire. When both of you weren't paying attention, I took the opportunity to capture her to get the elixir. Anna, please stop. I know you always hope to find a cure for your illness, but Sapphire is very weak right now. If she has to take any more drops of the elixir, I'm afraid she won't be able to suffer anymore. But now, if I don't have Sapphire's elixir, I can't live much longer. However, when faced with the choice of a beloved sister and a lover who took care of him day and night, David could not choose because each of them was very important to him. Before letting Anna use her claws to attack Sapphire, David rushed to prevent the unfortunate from happening. <gasps> David! Why? Why are you so stupid? Because I know your true self is really kind. You don't want to harm anyone. Moreover, you can't use force to solve everything. You can't force people to do as you please because of your selfishness and desires. David, what are you doing? Because I myself always want the best for you and Sapphire. So, this is my pearl of life. It will help you live 
So please, spare Sapphire a way to live. I hope this small gift can repay your support. And I hope that you and Sapphire live happily together. David! While David was preparing to leave the regret of everyone, a light suddenly radiated around him. Turns out, the serpent guarded saw David's great heart. So they embodied huh? to save him in front of the happiness mm. of Anna and Sapphire. Mm. <laughs> David, you are a person rich in compassion. And even when faced with the third challenge, your sister, you still sacrificed <laughs> for everything. It is indeed commendable. With such noble qualities, <laughs> I believe that Princess Sapphire and your sister will always be very proud of you. Then with Sapphire and David's wedding, the two races began to build a peaceful relationship and live happily ever after. This is a snake tied to a tree. Oh wait, what's going on? The snake has turned into a beautiful princess. Huh? That's weird. What happened? Let's find out the story of Woa Fairy Tales. Once upon a time, there was a very brave knight named Justin. He often went to new lands to eliminate evil and save people. Although his life was hard and unstable, he was still very happy because he could help many people. One day, Justin went to a strange desolate kingdom where the people were miserable and hungry. Seeing the strange thing, he stayed in an inn to find out what was happening. If you can't save this kingdom, you can stay here forever. I won't take you any money. Actually, this place used to be very peaceful, but in just one night the royal palace suddenly disappeared. Huh? Without the king, we were extremely huh? panicked, and robbers arose everywhere. As you see, everything got worse, so people were miserable and hungry. Curious about the mysterious story in this kingdom, Justin began to search everywhere while wandering in the forest. Help me! Huh? Is there anyone? Help me! Running towards Help the cry, me. Justin saw a snake tied to a tree in front of a dark castle. Help me! All of them were in flame. Hero, save me! A snake can speak like a human? Unbelievable! Because of his kindness and curiosity, he ran into the flame to escape the snake. Huh? Thank you very much. Actually, I'm not a snake, but Princess Avery of huh? this kingdom. Please, save our royal family. What? You say you're a princess? And this is the palace of the king of this kingdom? What happened to you? It's all about the witch Bruno, who is the prime minister of the kingdom. He used witchcraft to bring the castle to this forest. He even forced me to marry him. My father was enchanted, so he obeyed Bruno and didn't care about me. <laughs> when I refused to marry him, Bruno turned me into a snake for fun. Mm. Huh? And Help tortured me, me in fire Help every me. day until I agreed. Lucky to meet you, so I can be free. Huh? I got it. I am Justin. Since we have a chance to meet each other, I will help you. What should I do to save the king and this kingdom? You have to defeat the powerful wizard Bruno, who controls the whole castle. I will give you a hand. Under the tree in the palace garden is buried a miraculous sword of my family. It can help you open the castle door. <laughs> oh, what a sharp sword! Justin brought the sword to the front door of the castle. He looked around and saw a gap, which was the lock of the castle door. As what the snake said, he took the sword as a key and inserted it into the lock. Then, the castle door opened right away. As soon as he entered, Justin found the king and a strange army, including skeleton soldiers who had been already waiting. Who are you? How dare you break into my castle? Justin noticed that behind the king was a cunning man who was manipulating him. <laughs> Surely that person is Bruno, who the princess has mentioned. I'm Knight Justin. 
Your Majesty, I have come to awaken you. You are being controlled by that Prime Minister, Bruno. Your Majesty, this guy mm. dares to break into the palace and talk nonsense. Please punish him. Guards, put him in jail right now. Not wanting to make trouble for the king, Justin let the soldiers take him away. Mm. He was imprisoned and strictly guarded. Mm. Suddenly, <gasps> the snake secretly crawled in from the window. Are you okay? Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. When the guards didn't notice, the snake princess gently crawled over and stole the key for Justin. He quickly opened the door to escape and took back the precious sword. My precious sword will be useful to you. Take it with you. After that, Justin followed the snake princess's instruction to enter the castle. Ahead is Bruno's private secret room, which is guarded very carefully. Justin went to the secret room and saw Bruno's skeleton soldiers who looked very cruel. The commander is a skeleton soldier wearing a strange shield. Who are you? How dare you to invade the domain of our master, Sir Bruno? You will have to pay the price for it. Justin was not afraid of a large army of skeleton soldiers. He attacked the commander by slashing at his shield, but the shield was unharmed, only letting out a defeating sound. The strange thing was, the skeleton soldiers were all affected by that sound, even if only for a moment. Justin was very delicate to realize that. They seem to be affected by the sound of this sword attacking that shield. These two are precious treasures. Justin, the sword I gave you has a magical uh. ability. Let's do it like this. Hmm. He faced the army, raised his sword, and chanted the spell. Magical sword, help me defeat them. Immediately, all the skeleton soldiers turned to dust, leaving only the commander wearing huh? a shield. You, you will have to pay the cost. The skeleton commander rushed and attacked brutally, but Justin calmly fought back. Knowing that he could not fight directly because of the shield, he dodged the commander's sword, then sneaked behind him and slashed him to dust. Only the shield was undamaged. Justin picked it up and happily took it along with him. After defeating the skeleton soldiers, he opened the door of the secret room and stepped inside. Right after that, the cruel witch Bruno appeared in front of him. He got extremely angry. You cursed snake! It was you who led this knight inside to destroy everything. You all have to die to pay for it. Justin attacked Bruno with his sword. However, the witch could quickly dodge, so Justin was unable to reach him. It's not good. I have to change my strategy in order to defeat this witch. Justin cleverly changed his strategy. He no longer attacked, but paid more attention to defense. It was not easy for the wizard Bruno to defeat him, because he had just won the precious shield. But if I just defend, I can't defeat him. What should I do now? <laughs> While thinking, Justin suddenly remembered the strange sound when his sword and shield collided, which caused the skeleton army to be momentarily disabled. Right. Uh -huh. It works against the skeletons. It should work against that witch also. <laughs> I need to try. Then, he smashed his sword and shield together, creating a loud sound that annoyed the witch. Too noisy! Stop it now! Don't smash them together! Seeing that worked on him, Justin felt excited and kept smashing the sword <laughs> against the shield to make loud noises. As Bruno was distracted by the sound, he couldn't attack him like before. That sound also had other effective use. It spread very quickly throughout the castle, which made the king uh -huh. and soldiers gradually awaken. They all regained all their memories. I remember huh? everything. It's Bruno who has controlled this whole castle all this time. This sound is coming from his private room. I have to get there now. Meanwhile, Justin was still smashing his sword from his shield to annoy Bruno. <laughs> he patiently waited for his opportunity to come. At that time, Bruno's magical staff suddenly shone. It formed a cage around Bruno to prevent him against the sound that was echoing. I get it! Justin, destroy Bruno's staff now! All his power stems from that staff! Justin rushed forward to slash Bruno's staff with his sword. The ruby on the staff slammed into the ground and shattered. Losing the ruby, Bruno's magic all disappeared. Ah, my power! No, why could they know this? It can't be like that! 
As Bruno's magic was gone, the Snake Princess returned to the beautiful Princess Avery. At that moment, the king led his troops in. Seeing that Avery was back as before, they both felt really happy. Bruno was completely defeated, so he was quickly put into jail. The palace was also returned to its original position. Everyone in the kingdom was so happy. The king then helped the people overcome the difficult situation. His decision was warmly welcomed by all. That kingdom was finally free again. Justin and Avery <laughs> fell in love with each other. The king was also delighted and agreed with their marriage. Their wedding ceremony took place throughout the kingdom with the congratulations of everyone.